The situation was the church left the Congo very young. He was uh, not 17 yet. His girlfriend was pregnant, but he didn't know. And then when Serge was trying to start his career in basketball, then that's when his father found out. But his father was very focused on helping him grow as a man and try to develop his career. And at that moment, his father made the choice not to tell him right away. So this is why when Serge was already in the NBA and was a more mature man, uh, that's when his father sat down with him. He said that he was trying to do the best to protect him. He explained what, what happened when he left, and then he made him aware that you know, he had a daughter in the Congo and that, uh, you know, that this was the situation. CJ will trigger it in. Remember, he's always somebody that you think about is giving the ball back. But this action, I would imagine, is going to lead to a two point shot. Terry on the ball. Here's JV. JV puts it on the deck. Goes in. Tonight, um, I'm doing an event with uh, Global Citizens. Um, it's a movie premiere of the movie, the Global Citizen movie. And um, um, I'm excited about it. Very excited. OK. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. OK. Let's right, go. Let's to me, it's important because uh, it is, it is, I always feel like it's my job. You know, it's my job uh, to do uh, everything I do right now, you know, giving back and, uh, you know, working with, with global citizens for a better future, to change lives. And uh, I just, you know, it's, it's an obligation. Jordi, which one? First thing that comes to my mind is, like, he cares a lot about, like, how he presents himself, like his looks and stuff. Since young, I, I, used, to, I used to love fashion since I was young. But I didn't have nothing. I didn't have money <laughs> to, you know, to buy all these things I want to. And then, um, but I used to, you know, get the clothes from my dad, some of his clothes, shoes, because I was already tall like him since I was young. And then, um, yeah. But now, you know, thank God, you know, um, I can go to fashion weeks. You know, I can, you know, buy things I want to. And uh, now, yeah, I'm just enjoying that. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. How you doing? Hi. Hey, how you doing, guys? You good? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. What is this guy doing here? We, we crashed the No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> That's a... Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. This here, too. Hey. What are you doing here? We crashed the party, man. Oh, uh, no, we these guys. Have, we must have the doors down. We might have you. <laughs> I've been with Serge a long time. Uh, I was with Serge Ibaka six years in Oklahoma City, and now this is my second year here with him. So for eight years, we've been, um, I, I've been coaching him, and, and uh, 
and arguing with him and going back and forth. Uh, I, I really love his spirit. Um, you know, Serge brings just a, a, a great work ethic to our team. You know, he's, he's really committed to his craft. Uh, he's one of these guys that stays late after practice and works on his game and hits after he uh, works on the floor. He gets into the weight room and he spends a lot of time in the weight room and he's just a, a, a good uh, person to have for us and he's you know he, he's tremendous in the game also in helping young players and really talking the game and, and making us comfortable with what we're doing defensively because he's such a great defensive player himself. <laughs> He's the type of guy that, like hit very vocal in practice, like in shooter rounds, like he always try to give his opinion, try and tell the younger guys, like make him learn from his experiences and stuff. No, 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 Susan, I just doubt. He's got a caring part of his heart, right? Like he he really wants to teach the younger guys some some parts of the game that he's experienced, and and he's he's a student of the game. He's a student of our opponents, of our scouting reports, and he likes to have a voice in that. It's not always the easiest for him, you know, to find his moments to do it or whatever, but he's certainly, again, like that little piece of his heart is, is caring enough to, to want to do it. Yeah, come. Good, good, good. Thanks for coming, man. Yes. Hey, Rickets. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Everyone squeeze in. There we go. Jevi! Jevi! Jevi, thanks for coming, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks for coming. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, good to see you. I'm sure I get a picture with you. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want a picture with me, man? Yeah, can I take a picture? Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, Serge, uh, we'll keep you back here until Grace invites you up to the stage. That's then after a movie or before a movie? Before, before. Before. Uh, before, okay. I'm really proud of Serge Ibaka because of the way he's matured. I, I saw him and I knew him when he came to this country and he didn't even speak English. Uh, and I think throughout the years, um, you know, learning English, learning how to acclimate himself, uh, and it can't be an easy thing, um, you know, the adjustments that he had to go through. Uh, but he, he's really matured quite a bit from the last eight, nine years I've known him uh, from Oklahoma City to now. And I'm really proud of the things he does off the floor, you know, his foundation and what he's doing for children around the world. It's just a, a great thing for him and not only for himself, but for the community of Toronto to be able to um, bring that to Toronto and, and, and promote that. I lost my little, my little brother when I was 12. And um, since that day, I decided, you know, I have to do something, you know. I started I started to dream even then, since that day, I even when I didn't have nothing, you know, I didn't know one day I'm going to be an NBA, but I was a believer. And uh, I told myself I'm going to do something for my people. And uh, that's why when I, we are working on the project, soon the project is going to come out. When you think about Serge, where he's come from, and where he has been, and look at what he's able to do now. It says a lot about him. And he is somebody you could tell he is purposeful, right? He has a way that he wants on the court, off the court, to demonstrate what he can do. And I think he wants to be at the highest level possible, whether it's on the court or off the court. And so you see that, I think, when you watch him on a daily basis go about uh, his business. And, you know, for somebody like Serge uh, to do the things that he's been able to do off of the court, uh, I think it's important. And he understands that, and he realizes how important and the sort of impact that he can make. Thanks, guys, for coming, man. Thank you. Thank you. you got you, Take the world, man. about a year since since the trade. Have you thought about why things didn't work out well here? I think about the moment when the thing happened. But you know, in a lot of some time, you know, it's not everything we try to do or every plan we try to make is going to work in our way, you know. So sometimes you have to say, hey, you know what? I tried, I did my best I can, it didn't work. 
you know, and then I had to move on. So I, you know, I just tried to move on and focus on my, in my, in my, you know, in my actual team, and then working on that, and then, you know, I just tried to enjoy life, keep moving. What's it like to be back in town? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. And I feel like I'm coming back home because uh, I still have my place here. My family still live here, and uh, I was excited to be back. How you doing? I'm blessed. How are you? Good. It was a beautiful moment in my heart. Like I was excited already when I know when I know, when I know we, we was going back, uh, going to Orlando. I know I'm gonna see her, and I was excited. I'm sh I, and I'm sure she was excited too. And uh, it was this, you know, great moment to see her and a uh, good feeling going. I feel like you know, going back home again, uh, dear for my family. And, uh, it was good. Uh, this is my group now, you know, and uh, I feel I feel great that we got a good connection. We, I know each other, we know each other very well now, and uh, we're friends. We feel like we are family, and uh, we, we respect each other, and uh, that's why uh, this group is working, you know, because the most important we have to respect each other, you know, and uh, that's what we do. Here's Demar driving, kicking, short corner, Jay, and Serge Ibaka connects. Serge the three, go. I just I feel more comfortable now. I feel like this is home now with those guys. And uh, when I only only thing I have to focus on is to go on the court and play hard. You know, because you know, everything is already here now. Raptors are gonna finish him up at 15.27. The Suns finish the month of February 15.33 for the greatest point differential in the history of the NBA for the month of February. But for the Raptors, more importantly, they just get the win. And they're 18 and 12 on the road, 43 and 17 in the East. He found out that he had a daughter. In the beginning, it was very shocking. There's something that if you are not expecting or you don't plan, uh, it can come obviously as a big responsibility. Uh, and that's how he took it. And all of a sudden, not only was he a father, but he was a father to a five-year-old that had already, you know, uh, was becoming a child with her own thoughts and her own culture and everything. Um, and that's when he kind of stepped into her life and they both met each other and there was a connection in the beginning, but it was a growing relationship, obviously. She had to learn how to trust him and know him better, and he had to learn about her also um, as, as a kid, you know? And she became you know, very important to him, uh, and all of a sudden it's not about thinking about yourself and your career, but you have a family all of a sudden, right? So it was a process for him, but uh, he embraced it, and he was very happy to do it, and now she's uh, a big part of his life. She loved the weather, and uh, she got friends there. The school system, education is, is, is great there, so, you know, I, I just felt like it was the best for her. Uh, as a father, it's a little tough, you know, and like you said, uh, teenage years coming soon, and uh, I'm away from her, you know. It's tough, you know, and, uh, you know, but uh, even I know I'm away, we still, we still connected, and, uh, and I still, I try to do my best I can so we can see each other every weekend and, uh, and uh, make sure putting her in the best position, education. You know, that's, that's all I can do now. And, uh, and seeing her last night, going back to Orlando, it was a good, good moment. <laughs>